Hey everyone, Brandon here from Roost. I'm the head of customer education and today we're going to take a look at building a basic automation. We're going to call this the Hello World automation. We're basically just going to send an email using Roost so you can get an idea of how all of this works together. So the way this is going to break down is we're going to create a form that allows us to send a message and then we're going to make a workflow that takes that message and sends it to our email. All right, you're welcome to follow along and we should have some steps in the roost.help page. If you're not already there, you'll find that link in the description below. All right, so I'm in the Roost app here. All right, so I'm gonna to go to automations and then I'm gonna to go to forms. All right, and here I'm gonna add a new form. So I'm gonna click on the add button and we're gonna call this hello world form and I'm gonna click Submit. All right, so in Forms, you have a number of different fields here. What I'm most interested in is being able to add in a message. So I'm gonna take this text input here and drop it on the canvas. And then we can go ahead and edit this. So we have a number of configurations here. The only ones I'm interested in right now are field name, field label, and required, okay? So I'm gonna change the field name to send underscore message. And for the field name, it's important that we have this kind of casing here. And for the field label, I'm going to say send message. For the field description, I'm going to add send a message to email and click required. All right, so that does it for our form. Like I said, nice and simple. So we're gonna come up here to the top right and click Save and Submit. Okay, so the first step was adding a form. The next step is adding the workflow. So let's come back over here to Automations in the left menu and click on Workflows. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Create Workflows here. And for this guy, I'm gonna call this Hello World Workflow and click Submit. All right, this will bring me to the workflow canvas. You'll see here on the left, there are a number of actions and these are tied to all of the integrations. I would encourage you to click around if you wanna see what is available to you for each configuration. And if you want more information about setting up your integrations, you can go to roost.help and there's an integration section there. So for the purposes of building a simple workflow, I'm gonna stick with the core actions here. So there are two core actions that I am interested in. The first one is what's called a no-op. So I'll drag that here. And a no-op is described as an action that does nothing. So you can do some complicated things in no-ops that we'll talk about at a later time, but at a basic level, this allows us to kick off a workflow, right? This starts the workflow for us. So we can change the core no-op name to something like send message, okay? And then click that little check mark there. And then for the description, if we'd like, we can add this action starts the workflow. It's basically what it said before, but it's a good practice to write some descriptions so that your workflows are more readable in the future. The next one we want to add here is the send mail action. It's still in core and you can always search the actions as well. So I'll go ahead and take send mail and bring it right here. I'm gonna order these up here just so it looks a little bit nicer. And for the send mail action, I'm going to change the title here to to email. So we have send message to email. And for the description, I'm going to write this action sends the email. All right. And the next thing we wanna do is we want to change a number of the parameters here. So for all of the actions, you'll have different parameters, and then you'll see there's some additional options here. Feel free to pause the video if you wanna click around and explore. I fully encourage that. We're gonna focus here on these required fields. So sender, recipient, subject, title, and message. For sender, you should see no reply at roost.io, so we're gonna keep that guy there. For a recipient, go ahead and add in your own email if you wanna test this out. So I'm gonna add in brandon at roost.io. 
All right, for the subject, I'm going to type in hello world. For the title, I'm going to type in this is a test. And you can either follow along verbatim or you can add your own here. It's totally up to you. And for the message field, what we want to do is we want to actually reference our form. So in our form, we're going to type something, probably be hello world later on. Uh, we want to make sure that we're receiving that message. So this is where we can make use of Jinja. Jinja is a basic markdown language we can use to reference information and build some more advanced calculations. So I'm going to click on this little source editor here next to message. All right. And in order to reference the form information, whatever we input in that text box, we want to go ahead and use a context variable. So it's very straightforward. I'm going to do two curly braces here. And in the editor, if you hit space, it'll actually complete the curly braces for you. Nice little thing there. And we can do capital CTX dot and then type in send message. And this will reference our form so that it actually sends whatever we type to our email. All right. So the last thing we need to do here is we need to go ahead and click on this little ball here and drag it in here. We're basically building a transition. And these are the transitions for our different actions. So we have things like on success, on failure, always, or you can go ahead and build a custom condition here. This is where Ginger comes into play as well. But we're gonna leave it as on success. All right, so once we have all of this information here, we can go ahead and publish to save our progress. So let's click on publish and submit. All right, and you should see that the hello world workflow is saved. So the last thing we need to do to test this out is we need to connect the form to our workflow. And we do this using triggers. So essentially, we have the ability to determine what triggers the workflow process. Right now, that's going to be our form. There could be other triggers. I'm going to come up to the top here and click Add Trigger. For the name, we're going to call this Hello World Trigger. All right, let's make sure this one is enabled. For the trigger type, there's going to be a number of different triggers based on your integrations. So you'll see all of this here based on whatever you have integrated for your organization. We're just going to type in form so that we can find the core form submission. All right. And then the last thing we need to do is choose our form. So let's click on this. You should see the hello world form. So go ahead and choose that. And then we want to scroll down and click submit. Once we've done that, let's publish our workflow to save our new trigger. So I'm going to click publish and submit. All right, and I can click on the little cog here where it says edit trigger to close this. If you need to come back and edit your trigger to test it out or to add something else, you can come back here later. This gives us our hello world workflow. All right. Now, in order to test this out, I can click on the edit trigger button here. And what I'll see in my trigger now that this is all saved is a new section for dynamic form URL that says view direct URLs. So what this basically does is it allows us to reference our form, input the information and kick off the workflow. So let's click on view direct URLs and click on the link for our form. And it says send message. So we can say, hello world, or whatever you'd like to send to yourself as a message. And click submit. All right, you should see that your form submitted successfully. Okay, and I can go check my email. So I'm gonna open a new tab. I'm gonna go to my email. And sure enough, I see, hello world. This is a test, hello world. So congratulations, if you followed along, you've built your first workflow in Roost.
So thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one.